Hi guys, I'm back. Remember this video, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch The Secrets. Beard you, Mike. La la la. La 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 la. La la la. La la la. Oh my god. I forgot, guys. Hey. Hey guys, BG Mike here. Today we're oh back God, with Vicky fine. and the Ink Machine. Now, why am I playing this again? Well, I guess Chapter 1 has been kind of renovated. Completely, I don't want to say completely new, but a lot of stuff has been changed about it. And so I kind of want to compare it from the first time I played it to now. Because I did think playing Chapter 2, look, like Chapter 2 did look a lot more high quality. So I definitely want to see how Chapter 1 uh, is affected. Plus, I heard there's, or I didn't hear, but there is a secret room in Chapter 1 that I've never seen. So we're going to find it here. I, I was just scrolling YouTube doing some research and I happened to stumble upon that. So I can't wait to see it. Uh, anyway, I just played Episode 2 yesterday. So if you missed that, be sure to check it out, guys. Let's get it started. Moving Pictures. I don't know if it was labeled oh before. I actually like playing this uh, from the first episode because then I can actually get more of a feeling of what of what the game is going to be about and understand the characters maybe just a, a little bit more. Okay, we got to turn that freaking bloom or the in-depth field off. It's horrible. Am I the only one that, that like doesn't like it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually playing with a controller support because there's controller support, so that's going to be pretty cool. I usually pick that over the key, the keyboard and mouse. I, I also like the fact that it's not noisy, so you guys can't really hear the, the controller as much. Hmm, I just wonder, how is it different? Maybe we can get some theories, get some bendy theories from this video. So this was our desk. Hmm, so what is our character's name? So we were maybe a person that animates or draws things? What is this room? Can we get an accent coming here? I totally just don't remember. It's been a few months since I played the first episode. All the way through. Let's see if I still got it, guys. I'm guessing the the last person, just in case you haven't seen that, I, spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure that the last person is probably going to be uh, look a lot better. That's what I would guess. Ah, uh, yes. Dreams come true, guys. But if you have a bad dream, it can still probably come true. You know, just because that's an inspirational quote doesn't mean that it's always inspirational. It could be a very bad thing. But I'm confused. Didn't we work here? Wouldn't and if if we drew, like I'm guessing we draw stuff, wouldn't there? Wouldn't we know how to get ink from the ink machine? See, I I, I feel like I'm already lost. I really enjoy this game because of how you like unique it is. It's so freaking like cool. The the style of it. Hey, what's this? The Illusion of Living by Joey Drew. See, I don't remember that. I don't know if that was here before. So Joey's our friend. Hey. <laughs> Someone didn't nail that up right. Oh, look it! Guys, I thought Boris looked a lot different in the in the episode 2 than he did, uh, you know, the first time I played this. Let's go ahead and compare it to the last uh, episode and see how that looks for you guys. What is that? What the heck is this? Goofy? <laughs> they killed Goofy! So as you can see, Boris looks so, so much different. And I don't get it. Uh, again, spoiler alert, guys. If he comes out in episode 2... How is he not dead? Because he's totally dead here. I mean, I don't even really know what I'm looking at. I think that's his ribcage. <laughs> Boris, what did that do to you, Boris? My main man. Yeah, I'm so glad they did it. They did a lot better. This Boris looks just way, way better. Who's laughing now? <laughs> well, I'm not laughing. <laughs> but what's this, guys? What is this? Oh, I'm gonna walk in this wall. Wait, wait a minute. What? Is it gone? Is it gone? What? I have to do some more research. There was supposed to be a hidden wall right here. Yeah, I've seen people do this on YouTube, like walk through the wall. I don't remember exactly who, but I'll try to go back and see if I can figure it out myself, guys. That sucks. I wanted to see it. Maybe they took it out. Who knows? Or if they moved it. That would, that would be crazy, too. <laughs> I mean, what kind of technology? Honestly, like this is some advanced technology. Like you have to find a lot of things to put in place in order for machinery to work. It's like, I, I don't understand this technology. It's very, very advanced. Oh crap. Oh God, that, oh, that gave me, that gave me goose pimples. <laughs> that gave me certain feelings that I don't like, Bendy, so get out of here because no one likes you. I'm gonna keep trying to go through this wall because I've seen people do it. I think maybe we have to do something before we can go through it. So I could be wrong, but I think Joey Drew is the one that's the crazy, the crazy one that's behind of this, the behind of this, behind this, that, you know, 
It's maybe caused all of this to happen with the whole ink machine and, you know, the devil, Bendy, and... and so he's got a book that he wrote called The Illusion of Living with horns on it. I, it's some deep crap, I'm pretty sure. You know, he's, he's really, like, screwed up in the head, probably, and has this crazy sense of, of belief that everyone should be a cartoon character. <laughs> he's like, we're... We might think we're alive. We can touch... We can touch ourselves, but... Until we become 2D characters, we will not be living. He must really be into anime, you know, into the waifus. I could totally see that. He's like, I hate 3D women. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? This is new? Yeah. Yeah, see, this artwork, I think, is pretty new. And we got bacon soup in here. Ah, that's already, that's already news to me. Can we turn on this radio? I, wait, let me get some bacon soup. Oh, we can't. Mm, gotta get my bacon soup. Like, don't even check the expiration date. It's fine. <laughs> well, back in my day, sonny, we used to listen to this all the time. Boy, I twerk to this music. Um, I'm actually pretty sure that's like the theme song that the YouTubers made, uh, DA Games. I think that they're the ones that made the Bendy song, which got insanely popular. Props to them. Also, I may have not have done everything in the last episode, so if I'm doing something new, like, I don't really know if it's been added or not. I seriously want to come in here. Uh, we do get an axe, right? Oh, no, no, I don't think we ever get an axe here. Unless, like, they updated it, and now we do. Who knows? And because of episode two, I do not trust those ink piles, okay? I know what comes out of these things, and it's scary now. All right? I don't, I don't want it. I'm also waiting for that stinking piece of crap, Bendy, to pop his head out, because I don't remember exactly when he does that. I may have said this last episode, but this is if this is not a reference to that Arthur meme, can we please show it to Gomsi, please? I know it's not in style. This meme has been done for, but it's got to be a reference. It's still funny to me. Got to check every single door. Oh, oh, I didn't do this before. Hi, Bendy. What's in here? Just nothing? Lots of video cameras, it looks like. And film. Oh, okay. Cool. So the power is in that ink machine, huh? So like that ink machine, is, there's there's something really special about the ink machine, right? That creates probably these monsters. Now what I want to know is where the ink machine actually came from. So much, so much questions, not enough answers, guys. So all the employees from the, their workstation donated something, right? To appease the gods, right? Oh, that's all bad. It sounds like maybe he was using things to like transmutate things because there is like those circles and stuff like that i mean if i i've i've watched some full metal alchemist and i know the law of equi equivalent exchange okay so i get it it seems to me that is what we've done but but the job pays well okay <laughs> i don't care what they do as long as they give me my money yeah so joey is the head of the you know this whole operation it seems now that i kind of think about it shouldn't we freaked out like a lot more than we did about this cartoon character actually dead on this wall like like there's a lot of missing things right there like uh, is it just supposed to be a mascot is he not real is it just like something that someone created as a joke i don't know guys if you have any information about this game that maybe i just don't get please do leave a comment down below i highly encourage you guys just in case the wall's been moved i'm gonna go through the entire wall to see if there's anything new and i think i should probably do that with episode two as well because you never know. Hey, it's a Bindi plushie! Is, is that something we had to get? I'm pretty sure it is. I wonder if they sell those in real life. I freaking wish I should get one, honestly, if, if they sell it. I really want a Bindi cardboard cutout. Wouldn't that be awesome to kind of put right here? I'm telling you, I love these kinds of games. Like, I love growing with them. To see how far they come, to see the, the, the way they change. That's why I love, like, replaying them and stuff like that. And that's, like, one of my favorite things to do on YouTube. And then share it with you guys. It's, it's just so cool. Wait a minute, I have an idea, guys. Does this thing turn off? Because in, in episode two, there's a puzzle that we have to complete while the, the projector is on. So I'm thinking maybe we can go through the wall. Because so I don't know if it turns off. I think we turned it on before. Maybe we should try to go through the wall now. Nope. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, I want to go back and see if it's still on. Oh, hey, we need that book. Dang. Shows how much I remember. No, oh, it's still on. Okay, so that's not it. Okay, so right now we're just missing an ink. An ink thing, so we gotta get some more ink. I think I remember where that's at. I think that's where the ink machine is. Which is ironic. Because <laughs> that's where, you know, that's probably where you would find ink. Now I'm starting to think maybe, just maybe, 
Because we can't turn the radio back on. Maybe we had to go to the wall. See, I seen the ink before. I just don't remember where I put it. Or where, where it's at. Oh, hey, there it is. Okay, now we just gotta go. I just have this one here, guys.